When we learned about React Basics in previous modules, I told you that component state is used to keep data owned by the component itself. As our movies app grows, it's hard to tell that the array containing the movies is owned by the home component. We want to access movie details and add comments to it inside the second view with movie details. There are two options to achieve it. I could move the data, the movies list, up in the component list to the common ancestors of home and next views. That would be the app.js component. But this would be problematic. First, I would need to pass the data down through several levels, repeating a lot of code. Second, we will use React Navigation to define the navigation and transitions between views. Navigation is structured in a way that setting the properties of views is not very convenient. This could be simplified using React Context API. With context, data is passed automatically down the component structure. Redux is built on top of the Context API to access centrally stored data, so-called Redux Store. A store is an object that holds the whole state tree. When you think about it, it is pretty convenient to have all the application data in one place. It's easier to test and debug your app, and easier to understand how your app works. In Redux, the state is not changed directly. The only way to modify the state is by emitting an action to the store. Okay, enough talk. Let's get our hands dirty and see how it works in practice. First, I need to add some dependencies. So let's open the terminal window and I will add Redux and React Redux. Yarn add Redux, React Redux. Now I will import create store from Redux in app.js. Import create store from Redux. Usually the application entry point is a good place to create a Redux store. This create store method does, well, create the store. So let's call it const store equals create store. I mentioned that it is not possible to modify the state directly. In Redux, we use a function called a reducer that specifies how the state changes in reaction to actions. Let's define a simple reducer that does nothing. So function movies reducer, it takes two parameters, state and action, and I return just state unchanged. And now I pass this reducer to the create store call. So movies reducer, when I save, the app starts again. Reducer is a standard function that takes current state and the action that was dispatched to the store. Inside the reducer, we define how the application state changes because of this action. Reducer is a pure function. It means that it does not cause any side effects, like modifying state value directly. Instead, it works by returning a new value of state each time. It also means that the value returned by the reducer depends only on its parameters, these two guys here. Here I returned the state unchanged just to begin with something. Now I will import a provider to make our store accessible by home view. I import provider from React Redux. And now I wrap the home component with a provider. Let's split it into multiple lines. Okay, and provider. I move the home component inside. Okay, and now I pass store as a property of a provider. Okay, I this type it should be provider, of course. It is also possible to set 
the initial value of state inside a reducer function. For testing purpose, I will again use the mock movies data. So import mock movies from app mock movies and use them as the as the initial value of state. So it will be equal mock movies search. Let's save it and test again if the app works.